Hello everybody and welcome to Portal, one of the games that I think is the most revolutionary in terms of game mechanic and if you haven't played it, I'd strongly uh, advise that you do. It is a ton of fun and it introduced a mechanic into games that wasn't really around at the time. Uh, Portal is now a few years old, but there is also Portal 2 and Portal 3 will probably be released any time in the next years. And I just wanted to show you this game. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. I think that is uh, one of the most obligatory games that you have to play. So we start out in this chamber, don't really know what to do, and we have a timer. We can move around, as usual with W, A, S, and D. And uh, this is, is a physics-based game, so you can Hello, pick stuff up. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Come back. The portal will open in three, two, one. And there we go. We can see our character through the portal. Right here, this is Shell. And uh, we've got some kind of contraption stuck to our feet. Which we'll learn will save us from falling damage. And there's an ominous window up there from people probably uh, supposed to overwatch us. And the radio doesn't work anymore. Ah, right. So, cube Excellent. goes on to the button. Please proceed into Pretty the chamber basic. lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like we could take it. Let's see if the door stays open. No, it does not. Uh, there are a few little bonuses of this game that I didn't explore fully. Let's see if we can find those out. And I'll try to shut up while the dialogue is going. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. So these portals are changing through time. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. And I have... I have... sorry about that. I have played the game before, um, so don't expect me to not know all the... all the puzzles in here. But it's... Uh, it has been years, let's just say that. You're doing very well. Please be advised that no single taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate endothelium crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. 
right. And there we go, we have the portal gun. Go. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Oh my god, what kind of sound was that? I think that was one of the secrets. Let's just see if there's anything else. Doesn't really look like it. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. For your own <laughs> safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. It's just annoyed a bit. <laughs> I love this game. I really do. Oh. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Right, and we Vital can go back through. Apparatus destroyed. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Sure. I'm sure aperture science is no evil company that captures people to test them, right? Right. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. By the way, this game is quite short. So I don't know how long this series is gonna be. But uh, for now, I'm replacing it with Kevin King's. I will still make Kevin King's videos, don't get me wrong on that. Uh, but for now, I'll just um, do Portal instead. I've made now 20 videos of Kevin King's, so uh, that should serve for a while. Let's get that cube. You. And we're through. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Let's just take the radio with us. Get the demonic voices whenever it fills in the grid. Testing apparatus destroyed. <laughs> I love doing that. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Right, so here we get a cube. We can put that there, then we go up there again. To go back through the portal. That's why we have to be up there. And I don't think we have our radio anymore. Oh, there it is! As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job! As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in 3, 2, 1. No. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Oh, well, there's achievements for that. Alright. Here you go, radio. That is a spooky sound. 
I haven't actually noticed that before. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the app unbelievable. You subject name here must be the pride of subject fault on here. <laughs> Where's the radio? Oh, up there. Okay. I think that may be a hidden thing. Radio on every level. Oh, what's this? <laughs> okay. I guess I'll, I'll try to get the radios then. And we go up the elevator. Or down, we don't Warning know. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I do hear the radio. Is it, like, right there? Oh yeah, there it is! Seems to be dependent on where we actually stand with the thing. I'm sorry if you can hear barking in the background, that's our neighbor's dog. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Yeah, which is obviously not as uh, bad as death, right? I hear it. Oh, there it is! My god. Give me that. Whoa! Okay, let's uh, try that again, shall we? Uh, I don't know if I can still grab it while I'm on that platform. Uh, but I'm gonna try. I think I can't really... Can I reach it from here? That doesn't look like it. Oh, I don't know how I missed the radios the first time that I played. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. The thing is, I think I'm gonna have to stand in a specific spot in each level to get the uh, achievement. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go. Come on. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. And there's the radio, man. Ah. 
Me that. The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. All right, there we go. Well, let's just try to prove my theory. I think we'll have to get it through, so that was probably a bad idea. Once again, Come on. the enrichment center oh offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. It's not unsolvable. Come on, we just want to test people. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. But I remember that I had some issues uh, the first time I played it through. Because I, I trusted the voice too much. You can't, you can't trust her. She's evil. Come on, what do we have here next? Hello again. To reiterate, momentum. Yep, momentum. That's the only keyword we really need here. Uh, no radio here? Alright. Well, I'm gonna take this then. Radio? Anywhere? No? Okay. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. <laughs> ah! There it is! Uh, that might actually be kinda hard to get. Uh, I had it for a second. There you go! Alright. And, uh,. That portal is positioned wrong for this. I'm gonna put it somewhere around there. Ah, my radio! Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yep, that's basically how it works. Okay. Oh no! I guess. Guess that's not a problem. Let's go on without the radio. Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. It's probably a good thing to avoid. Okay. Let's go in there. Uh, and I think we need that power ball. That was not the right spot. Still looking for that radio. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> and that was me being careless. Uh, try that again, right? Because it does come back. Where do we have to aim it? 
Oh. Okay. Well, I think I'll have to do that again. As I said, I don't don't remember any, all the things. And there is a bunch of pretty tricky chambers. I think if I go in right here, yeah, that will probably be it. Oh, it exploded before it actually arrived. I'd like to make these videos about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's just try to uh, see what we can do after this chamber. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely out of this game. Uh, what am I missing here? This, this is what I was missing. Alright. <laughs> there we are. The second part to the portal gun. We are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject from town, here. I don't know how I would get that radio. Uh, let me think for a second. Could probably just grab it like that, right? If I was a bit quicker. Or could I? Uh, let me just try to grab this before we go. Ah. There you go. Can I get it through? Okay. So we're kind of uh, stuck in a wall right now, as you can see there. It gets kind of confusing where we are sometimes with these portals. Okay, here we go. And now we gotta press a button, put the portal up there, and then go through this one. Almost forgot to put the portal up there. Okay. I think this will be it for the first part, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, please remember to leave me a like, and if you have any criticism, any feedback, feel free to leave me a comment. Other than that, um, I have that poll set up in the description, there you can vote for my next series, what you want to see. 
and uh, feel free to make any comments about the series, by the way, that I have running. I'm always appreciating criticism, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.